We're here with Scott Sicko of the University of New Hampshire. Scott, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Hi, I'm glad to be here. Uh, talk about what it's pl like playing for Coach McDonald. He's certainly a loud, intense coach, but uh, talk about what it is from the player's perspective. Um, well, he, he always has so much emotion, so it, it's really like it's really nice to see that from your coach. And it, I mean, when he gets excited, you just get excited too. So. How, how demanding is he to play for? How demanding is a coach? Um, he, he, he's incredibly demanding, but at the same time, he, he knows what you can do, and he's going to you know, squeeze every ounce of effort out of you, and that's what you really want in a head coach. Now, what's the, what's the best part about playing other than uh, to watch him get animated, but what's the best part about playing for Coach McDonald? Um, probably just the atmosphere of the kid, types of kids he brings in. Um, he, he's really good at recruiting. You know, blue collar kids that are very straightforward, and very, very good, good kids. I mean, it's just great to be around all the kids and recruits. As a tight end, you've had the chance to play with an all-time great, Ricky Santos, and then last year, R.J. Toman takes over, and he's the preseason uh, offensive player of the year in the CAA uh, this year. Compare the two of them, how they handle themselves on the field. Um, well, they're a little different. Um, Rick's more of a little bit of a smoother player, while. RJ is more of a, um, I think he's more of a commanding, you know, field presence type player. He's he's very much the decision maker on the field. He, he's our captain, you know, like you know, like the captain of the ship for the offense. But um, you know, great, both of them great kids and both of them amazing football players. And you know, they vary in different ways, but they're 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 amazing football players. Now, now as a receiver, who throws the better ball? Who who uh, is there anybody that looks to you a little more than the other? Uh, I I like both of them. I I can't, I can't make it. I can't distinguish between either one of them. Um, they're both great quarterbacks. Now you've gotten a lot of acclaim on all American teams and all conference teams. Talk about some of your goals coming into this season. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, just talk about some of your goals coming into this season. Um, for me, I, I really don't set personal goals. Um, I like to set team goals. Whatever I can do to help the team out, that's that's what I want to be able to do. For me, I, I don't. I'm not looking for any, you know, awards or anything like that. I, I just want our team to do as best as we can. Yeah. Now you've caught 50 balls uh, the last couple of years. As a tight end, do you enjoy the pass catching part of it more? Or you enjoy being more of a block? Um, I think I, I'm not going to lie. I think I enjoy the pass catching more, but um, I know I got to improve my blocking because I know that's what our team needs out of me, so I'm going to really work hard on that. Now, you guys have certainly had a great deal of success being a perennial playoff team. Um, what are the goals for, for New Hampshire um, coming into the season? You talked about personal goals, but is the playoffs right out of the gate something you guys want to do every year? Um, we, our, our goals are always, you know, take one day at a time. You want, we want to win every day and then we want to win every week and we we don't look past any team and you know I don't think you know playoffs are a ways down the road we got camp coming up we want to win camp right now and that's our major goal right now what, what's the challenge of playing in this league that uh, you know five playoff teams each of the last two years and you know week in and week out it's gonna be pretty tough talk about playing in the CA um, it, it's an incredible league to play in I mean there's so much talent so much energy every week is a, like a, a new battle and you never know who's going to come out on top. You know, everyone's really fighting tooth and nail to, to win every game. All right, Scott, thanks very much. Welcome to Media Day. Yep, thank you.